So I've laid out a handy little phenotypic spectrum out here. Uh, on one side, we have people who have the capacity for sh signaling uh, self-blaming moral emotions. These are the same regions of the brain that are involved with the capacity to signal depression. So when you're signaling uh, depressed signals, such as looking down, uh, uh, drooping eyelids, etc., uh, these are actually using the same regions of the brain that are uh, deeply intertwined with your capacity to signal morality and to feel uh, moral emotions. On the other side, you have people who we label as psychopaths due to their inability to feel those same emotions that we attribute to uh, morality, such as the capacity to feel shame, the capacity to feel pro-social forms of gratitude and pride, uh, and self-disgust, self-contempt, all of these things involve morality, and those are things that simply do not arise on this side of the phenotypic spectrum. Of course, there's nothing objectively wrong with that particular phenotype, except perhaps in the most objective sense possible, which is that they are now outcompeted and get nasty labels attached on their heads. So, um, obviously, I mean, there was a reason why humans acquire the capacity to feel these emotions, and this was probably attenuated when we made the transition from Paleolithic hunter-gatherers to agriculturalists, where we actually needed a belief system, a religion, uh, an entire uh, system that got us to do the things that we didn't want to naturally do. And so the people who had more of a capacity uh, were obviously selected for, and this happened in certain human populations more than others, of course, like with anything. Uh, but now, I say this all in the context of uh, why you cringe, if you do in fact cringe, uh, when you see me shirtless and trying to educate you. That's because you are perceiving me as existing in your same reference class for mirror neuron activity, except that uh, then your amygdala causes you to cringe because I'm performing behavior that doesn't seem uh, socially adaptive within your particular hierarchy that you're operating in. And so these moral em emotions always exist relative to that particular hierarchy that you believe in. And when I'm being shirtless, I'm signaling I don't believe in it. I don't believe in what you believe in. So uh, that causes you to... Uh, cringe because it's not adaptive within what you're trying to be adaptive in. So uh, that's really it. I mean, I'm being shirtless in all my Calculus 2 videos. I have over 160, and that's the ultimate example of counter signaling, right? Because Calculus is absolutely not translatable to almost any other area of life. Like the mental models that I have to develop for that are so granular that they ultimately just kind of serve as an example of my devotion to a system of externalizing my motivation to that system, signaling that submissiveness, but at the same time I'm doing it shirtless. When, whereas if I had a clue within that system, I was supposed to like uh, act like everyone else. So that's just uh, counter signaling, that's what that's called. And you should uh, be able to detect this better now.